Hi there, Uncle Bori here, back with another shave video. Yes, it's Wednesday today, and we're doing our normal Aussie Wednesday shave. And the product of today comes from Stuka, Australia. Stuka. Uh, this one's called Australian Botanicals. And to me, it smells like um, a lemon woody scent, probably from um, lemon myrtle bush oil or essential oil. Yeah, that's what I get. As you can see, this is a brand new puck. Hasn't been touched yet. Now what I do, I'll um, slice a piece off and squash it in the bottom of my bowl. I'll do that in a minute. Hmm, nice scent. A good strength to it. It's um, double strength. You can select um, single, double or triple strength. When you order the soap, you do pay extra for the extra strength, which is only natural. You're paying for the extra oils. And the razor, oh, actually, we'll go with the brush first. The brush is this one from uh, Fuko Australia. Uh, yeah, Fuko Shaving. Um, I call it the Aqua. Don't know why I call it that way, but it's want of a better name. It's a lovely handle. Good size. I like the, the size of this handle, very nice. And in there I've got a black and white um, maggot snot or a tuxedo. 26 mil set to uh, 53 millimeter loft. So I'll just stick that in my soaker. To get wet and oh the razor yep that's what we're doing the razor comes from Yaki it's called the Sefa capsule and on there I've got a hollow handle brass handle with dimples and um, Blue painting rings, painted rings. Quite nice. Let's just take the washer off here. So it comes apart, as you can see, it's it uses the textile um, blade alignment with the pins in the corners. And uh, the bottom plate is very light because it's Semi hollow. Huh. Apparently, it's a mild razor. I, I did do um, one pass with it on um, Monday just to see what it felt like, and yes, it was uh, felt pretty mild. All right, we'll put the pre shave on now. Wet the face first. And we're going with the Natio uh, Smooth Shave Gel. Just rub it in. Moisten it. That'll do. Just leave that on, and we're going. Just quite a bit on, I think. Take a bit to wash that off. Just wipe my hands on the towel, and we'll go across to the uh, overhead camera now and produce the leather. Okay. We're at the overhead shot here. Before we get into the lather build, I'll just show you um, how we load the blade. As you can see, it's got those little corner posts in the top plate. And I've got a Lord Cool Blade here. 
Uh, basically on his first use, I only did that one pass on Monday. So it just slots in there and nicely aligned on those pins. And then you just drop the top plate over the top. Put your washer in if you want to use one. And then screw the handle down. And then you'll see the alignment's pretty good. A little here there. That'll be right. Alright. Put that aside. I'll get our lathering bowl, which is the Whispers from the Woods lathering bowl. And I've got a small piece, about one gram of soap. And I just press that in the bottom, spread it around. It's not triple milled, but it's quite firm soap. Very firm actually. Almost as hard as triple mill soap. So that's why I only need to use a gram. Um, it's quite dense soap. So I'll just get my brush, give it a squeeze and a couple of shakes. So just a damp brush. And off we go. Yeah, it's a nice lemon myrtle type scent wafting off. So lemon wood, bit of greenness to it. Oh, I'll just add a little bit of water to help that dry soap along. Beautiful. Okay, back from my uh, the leather production. And it looks pretty good, well hydrated. Nice soft peaks. Beautiful. The scent is good strength, about 6 out of 10 I would call it. Um, 
and we'll just wet the face or re wet the face. A bit dry. Bit of alum. Mr. Alum. And here we go. Nice. Oh, quite a good strength coming off. I think I'll revise that to 7 out of 10. It's really wafting around my face. There might even be a bit of floral in that scent. Lemon floral. Which is typically what you get from the lemon myrtle. Well, that's very nice. I'll just put the um, soap ingredient list here. I don't really have a scent profile. Uh, it's just called Australian Botanicals. Normally he uses uh, essential oils to scent his product, so it's more than likely uh, a mix of some essential oils, maybe some eucalyptus in with the uh, lemon myrtle. Yep, this is a mild grazer, definitely. Just looking for the angle. Yeah, that's about it. It's closer to the top cap to get the correct angle. So about 40 degrees, I think, rather than 30. Especially no blade feel. Just a little bit so you know where the blade is. Okay, lovely first pass. Lovely slickness. Can't complain. Beautiful. Excellent strictness. Let's have another layer on. Here's a couple of little bit of soap pieces, but it's alright. I should have um, moistened the top of the soap before I started. That helps stick the pieces down. In a solid puck, of course, you can always load the brush straight off the puck. You so did I. Okay, across the green.
As you can see, I'm making myself get a steeper angle. That's where it's cutting. but it's, there is some there. Natural slickness itself is good. Primary residual, not primary residual, primary slickness is really nice. Excellent. Yeah, and the scent, six, seven out of 10, I'm getting. Small, but it's getting the job done. Just got to get that angle right. Cut the hairs. Like I said it's almost dry in the cap. Cutting angle.
yeah, so not a bad razor. Um, it, like I said, it does need that extra angle uh, to engage the blade. There's only a little bit of blade feel. Let's fill around. Okay, a normal spot under the jawline. And uh, around there. Right. That feels pretty good. I've got a few weepers here on this side. And on the neck too, oh, a few weepers. It's unusual for me. Especially with a mild razor. Okay. Quite a shave. Or we'll do the alum test. Just a few weepers. Let's have a feel. Yes, in here I got some stinging, two out of three. A little bit on the cheeks, actually a little bit everywhere. So obviously I haven't got, become accustomed to that razor yet. Let's see how we go on the next shave. Because the, the, the steeper angle. All right. I'll rinse that off. I'll put the leftover leather on. Feel the slickness. Yep. Hi, back from the shower. Yes. Nice clean shave. Just a little bit of irritation here and there. So I'm not quite used to that uh, razor. 
Um, I might change the blade on the next shave and see how that goes. All right, um, let's go with the post shave. Which hazel? Tea tree oil and menthol. Okay, then we'll go with a bit of Natio for men aftershave balm. This has a lemon scent to it. Nice. Yeah, no, I didn't quite get down there. That's all right. I'll get it on the next shave. Might take some getting used to that different angle on that head. All right. And the final ingredient, we're going with a bit of lime sec from Clubman Pinard. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, that's my shape of the day. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on my next one.